It's three card. Hey, what's up? John Shred here. Today I'm reviewing this RTX 4080's Founders Edition. Now, uh, it just came out a few weeks ago. I finally got my hands on, which is great. Uh, if you haven't seen, uh, I've done a couple other reviews. I did a Zotac 4080, uh, and then after that, I'm actually still working on the review for a Strix 4080 right here. So stay tuned. I will unbox this, review it, benchmark it, compare it to the size of the 4080, the 3080, and the 3090 Ti. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Um, yeah, thanks for joining the channel. If you are new, uh, I am all about reviewing video cards right now in different tech. So here, let's get into this 4080. If you have not seen, I did a 4090 Founders Edition review here. So um, yeah, I'll compare. I don't have the size of it anymore, but I'll compare it to some of the 4080s uh, that I do have. So the box itself is looks like identical. Let's see if we can get, yeah, a tear here. Mm -hmm. mm. Ta da! Other side is the same thing. Ta da! Cool. And then it opens up like this. Wait. I really like the presentation. Oh, I don't want the card to fall. Okay. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Let's see here in the box. I just want the dong go. Three, eight pin dongle. It's all you really need in the box. It doesn't really come with anything else, which is nice in my opinion. I'm not sure there's some interesting sticky, it's not even sticky version, it's just some white. It almost looks like in the shape of the X. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's get rid of the box. So if you've seen the 4090, it's pretty much the same. A little bit thinner. Um, yeah, literally it's, it's identical. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. It, it, one says 4080, one says 4090. The 49 is even bigger. Yeah, a bit bigger, but um, okay, cool. Not a whole lot to talk about there, but I think what would be interesting is to compare it side by side with a 4080. Uh, okay, 4080 Strix. Okay, let's just side by side this for fun. Oh my gosh. Let's get these guys. Okay. This guy. Uh, this guy. Okay, it's holding this top-down shot. You have definitely two inches more. Um, a longer, it's taller. Um, yeah, definitely the Strix is a whole lot more card. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, so we know how it compares to a Strix. Let's look at... Ugh. This here is an EVGA 3090 Ti. Uh -huh. Put this one in front of this one. EVGA is known for having shorter cards anyway, but it's still about half inch shorter and about the same thickness. I would say actually the EVGA is a bit thicker on the, the 3090 Ti. But in my opinion, those, those are pretty close, uh, close in size. Um, let me grab a 3080 Strix and we can see how it compares. Here is your 4080. Here's a, a 3080 Strix. Uh, now, if you compare these two uh, side by side here, I'll do top down shot here to get you really kind of what it looks like. Um, 
The Strix is about a half inch longer, uh, but also about half inch skinnier than the 4080. Uh, other than that, yeah, not a whole lot of difference there to compare. Uh, my opinion, if you already have a 3000 series card, no matter the size, especially if it's a, it's a larger one like a Supreme uh, or, or a Strix, you'll, you'll be fine with the 4080. So size wise, not a big concern. It's not like a 4090, which is significantly bigger. Uh, I think, I think you'll be completely okay in your case, but let me grab my Snow White 011 D mini case, which is a smaller case that I just took out this, uh, this 3080 from, and we'll put the 4080 in and we'll see kind of how it compares once it's inside the case. Here it is here. Um, I just took the, um, the 3080 out. Let's slap the 4080 in. Oh, it's three card, it's three card. It is a three card slot. 3080 is a two card slot, so. It's in, it, it, it definitely looks pretty massive. <laughs> Let's see if I can adjust this a bit and you can see better. There we go. That's better. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty massive. Let me get this dongle connected. You can see that quite well. Uh, let's let's turn on the system. I don't uh, foresee it looking a whole lot different than a thirty ninety, but hey. G four thirty X. Yeah, I mean. It's in, no real, you know, fans are going, like I say, it works well with, with any three pin uh, power supply connector. Um, yeah, to me, this is an easy fit, an easy win. If you ever get yourself on a, on a Founders Edition 4080, uh, really slick looking card. So leave it with me. Uh, let me do some benchmarks and see how it compares, especially, like I say, I'm also comparing the, uh, the Strix 4080. So I'd love to better understand uh, how it compares to it, knowing that it's, uh, two inches shorter does it doesn't make any difference uh, as far as thermals and performance so here stay tuned i will come back with some benchmarks welcome back now i'll admit i've been dragging my feet for, for the rest of this review i've uh, it's been about a month uh, and, and I took a little break over the holiday season to spend some time with friends and family. Uh, and, and the last video, I mean, if you haven't seen my Tough 49 review, uh, you can check that out here. If you're enjoying this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It helps so much for small channels like mine. Appreciate it. Okay, now back to the 4080 Founders Edition. Now, other than using and, and testing that Tough 4090 for a few days, this has been my go-to card for the past month, and I, I can't say anything bad about it. Now, it's interesting though, because I mean, I've reviewed about four or five different 4090s now, and now that I'm getting into the 4080 series, I mean, it's really, it's really neat to see that they're pretty awesome. Now, and what I mean by that is, yes, the 4090s are still faster. No doubt, all the benchmarks will, will prove it. But for day-to-day -day use when gaming, I can't really, I don't really notice a difference. If, if you know kind of on this channel, I'm not all about the exact specs and the CUDA cores, and I'm more about real life feeling and, and how it works day-to-day. -day. And I mean, when I'm playing Warzone 2, whether I'm getting 100, 135 frames per second on a 4080 or 180 frames per second on a 4090 at 144p, 1440p, I, it's, it's the same for me. I mean, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make a big difference. 
Now, that being said, here are the benchmarks for the 4080 Founders Edition and how it compares to the Strix 4080 I've reviewed and also the Zotac 4080. Overall, the scores were pretty much identical to the Zotac 4080 and slightly behind the Strix 4080. Given the fact that the Strix is a bit higher end card, I, I'm not surprised to see this. And when it comes to the cost of this card, that's where the Founders Editions always shine. Now, the 4080, this Founder Edition here, is worth $1,200 USD. Uh, compared to, I mean, that Zotac 4080 is now at $1,279, pretty much the same. You can probably get the non-OC for $1,200. Uh, the Strix 4080 is more like 1550 USD, quite a bit more. And if you're looking at a 4090 FE, you're up at the $1,600 range. Now, as you can see here on Newegg.com, you need to be careful. You can see here that they have a 4080 Founders Edition for the same price as the retail price for a 4090 Founders Edition. So it is an open marketplace on Newegg.com. Some items are sold directly from Newegg, but a lot of them come from third party, who knows who, they're just trying to make an extra buck. The Founders Edition cards have always been the cheapest edition of the cards you can get, but, but don't discount it for its ability to kick ass. Oh, and, and lastly on price, there has been rumblings about Nvidia lowering the price in the 4080 by 50 to 100 dollars. So, who knows? Stay tuned. Now, when it comes to overclocking, I was pretty surprised at how well this 4080 Founders Edition did, with with overclocking scores ranging from 5% increase to 18%. There seems to be much more overclock potential in the 4080 over the 4090. The 4090 only had a three to five percent performance boost. Now. That being said, can an overclocked 4080 perform almost as well as a 4090? Eh, not, not really. A 4090 still blows it out of the water. Now the uh, overclocking settings I used on this card, I was plus 250 on the core, bringing it up to 2,970 megahertz. Uh, which, which isn't that bad, right? Right close to that 3000 megahertz threshold. Now on the VRAM, I was only able to go plus 1400 on the VRAM, which brought it up to 12,600, which is a little bit lower than some other cards. The power draw on this card is identical to the Zotac 4080 with a soft power limit of 320 watts, and you can bump it up to 350 watts. Interesting enough that the Strix 4080 uh, you could bring it up to 420 watts. Now, did that mean the Strix performed better? Well, as you saw from the benchmarks, a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Everyone has their own flavor, but it's interesting why they've limited some cards to 350, but the Strix just went way higher. When it came to thermals running this Heaven benchmark tool, I mean, it was awesome. The, the, the core didn't go over 61 degrees and the VRAM not over 62. I have been very, very impressed with the thermals overall in all of the 4080s and 4090 series cards I have tested. And the Founders Edition was no different. When it comes to lighting on these cards, eh, there's not a whole lot to write home about. The GeForce RTX logo lights up, and that's about it. But, I mean, maybe RGB is, isn't your thing. I still think that the design for the 4080 and 4090 Founders Edition cards are elegant and you know the 3000 series the 4000 series they're, they're, they're very similar uh, it just has a nice clean look that if you look in a build and you see one you're gonna go okay cool that's a nice card all right what can i say overall about this card ah i mean it performs extremely well for for anything you'd want in 2023 i mean it, it could use a few more lights i mean but i mean all in all an incredibly solid card now, would I pick this over the Zotac 4080 for pretty much the same price? Well, if you haven't seen my review on the Zotac 4080, you know I was ranting and raving about it. Uh, I love the new design of it. The only thing holding me back 
about picking the Zotac over this card is the size. It is a huge, huge, huge card. Uh, whereas the 4080 Founders Edition is nice, it's sleek, it'll fit into most build, maybe even a nice ITX build. So depending where you are in the size of your case, it may differ, uh, you know, 4080 Founders Edition versus, versus the Zotac. Now, I really don't think you can go wrong with this card. I mean, two thumbs up, um, really impressed with it. Uh, next up, I am going to review a 4080, a gigabit 4080 Eagle. Uh, I have it in my system right now. I'll take it apart and, and we'll look at it and see how that compares to the 4080 Founders Edition and the Strix and the Zotac. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.